it's already <laughs> been described as the biggest movie of the year. Avengers Infinity War hit cinemas this week. And our movie man, Jason Jabber Davis, sat down with the stars. Jabber, morning to you. Well done, St Kilda. Now, what can we expect from Avengers Infinity War? Guys, it's the third Avengers film and it's the culmination of ten years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It promises to perhaps be the biggest film of all time. Let's take a look. know what it's like to lose, to feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. When it comes to the who's who of superheroes, it doesn't get much better than this squad. And they're all back, including Spider-Man, Black Panther, Black Widow, Thor, and this guy. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Benedict Cumberbatch is back on board as former neurosurgeon turned superhero. I mean, is it? I mean, it looks like a tiny. Is it my microphone? It's my microphone. Okay, hi, hi, nice to meet you. Morning. Hi, how are you? Are we here with Benedict Cumberbatch? Good morning. Who's belittling the Thor hammer? But I mean, look at it. It's keyring size. This is brilliant. Brilliant. They're all this easy to pick up. <laughs> that was meant to be my big introduction to say I've brought the thunder from down under. He brought the thunder from down, I'm so sorry. The actor is perhaps best known for his work in crime drama Sherlock, but it was his role in the Marvel movies that catapulted him to a new level of stardom. I remember going to Kathmandu to film the first, literally the first scenes, the first days of, of our shoot on um, Strange, on the first film. I was spotted a couple of days in, a few people started taking photographs. By the third day, it was just, it was Beatlemania. It was literally being chased down the streets in cars, sort of slightly terrifying and, and yet wonderful. There are times you'd be happier to slip back into the unknown. But every now and again, I go, yeah, it'd be nice to walk into a room being completely anonymous. It just would. <laughs> in the latest instalment of Marvel's superhero action adventures, the Avengers and their allies continue to protect the world from threats too big for any one superhero to handle. But a new danger threatens the world. Tell me his name again. Thanos. The genetic mutant has arrived on Earth from Titan, his birth planet, and he's ready to unleash his unimaginably twisted will across the world. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. His goal? To collect all six Infinity Stones for a gauntlet that will give him control over the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Along for the ride is Scottish actress Karen Gillan, who last graced our screens in the mega-hit remake of Jumanji. Hello, little lady. What are you doing out here all alone? <laughs> that was so interesting and funny. What is she doing? Has she got a bug in her hair? The $50 million woman we call you in Australia. The $50 million woman? Do you know why? No. Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. Oh. $50 million in Australia. That's insane. I hear it's the 13th biggest movie in Australia. Uh-huh. Yes, go on, Australia. Bigger than the last Avengers film. Oh, <gasps> controversial. No pressure. Oh. <laughs> I'm torn. <laughs> now she's back in another blockbuster, this time playing Nebula, the daughter of Thanos. And while she's starring in one of the year's biggest movies, unlike her co-star, life hasn't changed quite as much. I don't feel like my life has changed that drastically. Um, well, especially with this role, because I'm so sort of obscured. I do not look like this character at all. Um, so I feel like I kind of get the best of both worlds. But maybe a little for her parents. My mum is uh, loving it, actually. She talks about like new dresses that she wants for premieres now. Like that's a conversation, like a normal thing that she'll say. Um, and my dad has been staying awake during the movies that I've been in lately, so I'm definitely that's like the mark of quality. With high expectations and a lot riding on the Marvel film, directing and producing the movie would seem like a pretty daunting task. But not for masterminds Joe Russo and Trin Tran. Our job is to, to block out all the pressure. You know, what's amazing about working at Marvel is they're incredibly supportive. Uh, they, you know, they, they give you an incredible amount of creative freedom. And we sit in a room and, uh, and yeah, you know, sure. figure out the story <laughs> that we want to tell. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. It's definitely, it is a, a, a big challenge and undertaking to make Infinity War. And I, we're all very proud of that movie and proud of the story that we've created. We know it's going to be a smash hit, but just how epic are we talking? 
It's like ACDC are playing the greatest gig of their life. <laughs> the Rolling Stones parachute in. Yeah. And then Jimi Hendrix comes up from wow, under the stage yeah. and sets his guitar on fire. Amazing. By the way, that might be the best analogy that I've heard for this movie. That is an amazing yet. analogy. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure, guys. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> wait to see it. It opens on Wednesday and we'll review the film in full. I've seen 20 minutes of okay. the film. It is hilarious, full action, full of heart. I cannot wait for Avengers Infinity War. Wow. And Good those stuff, Jeb. Stars. Yeah. Are just divine, aren't great they? value. Benedict. Very cool. And Karen, right? Karen, absolutely. And Benedict. She's a yeah, she's great. Yeah, it was a great chat. Thank you so much. Well done. Big Thanks, exclusive. Guys.